Hello, student. Good night, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening. Okay, students, <clears throat> I hope you are ready. Espero que estén listos. Ready? Ready. Okay, very good. Uh, we are going to start with today's class because of the time. Vamos a comenzar la clase de ahora. El tiempo es corto y una horita es cortísima, ya como ustedes, right? Okay, students, um, here we go. Let's see. Okay. Uh, you see it, slide presentations? Can you see it? Pueden ver la presentación? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Uh, we are going to continue with module number three. Our topics for today's class is future with be going to. Today we are going to talk about future time, right? Eh, ¿Ya han escuchado ustedes be going to? No, I'm not. No. Okay, no problem. Today we are going to say it together. Okay, students. Eh, pongan sus camaritas ahí, no tengan pena. Vamos a estar interactuando ahí. La idea pues es aprender. Así que let's start with this. Okay, that's good. Nice. Okay, in order to start with today's class, you have to... Eh, Tell to the class, tiene que decir a la clase, your name and your birthday. Did you remember that yesterday class we were talking about birthday? ¿Se recuerdan que en la clase de ayer estábamos hablando de dos? Yes. Okay, very good. You have to say your name and your birthday. I am going to start. Voy a comenzar, ¿sí? Okay. okay. <clears throat> My name is Edwin Argueta. My birthday is on January 14th. Right? Okay, good. Vamos. Comencemos. Who want to start? Me. Okay, go ahead, Wilfredo. Uh, my name is Wilfredo Pertica. Okay. My birthday is on April 21st. Okay, very good, nice. Good job. Let's see, somebody else. Thanks, Wilfredo. Hi, my name is Fabiola. Okay. My birthday is on October 24th. Okay, very good. Good job, Fabiola. Let's see, somebody else. Are you Hi, Okay. My birthday is uh, in June 6th and Saturday. Okay, good. Good job, Fabricio. Very good. Okay, somebody else? Good night. Good evening. My, good night. My, name, my name is Stephanie Aviles. My birthday, my birthday is on December 26th. Okay, very good, Picha. Nice pronunciations. Really good. Okay, somebody else. Good night, teacher. My mm -hmm. name is Valen uh, Leticia. Okay. My birthday is on May 9th. Very good, good job, Leticia. Nice. Let's see somebody else. One. Hi, my name is Tania. Okay. My birthday is on March 21st. Okay, Tania. Let's see somebody else. I'm gonna run quickly. I'm gonna see it un poquito más rapidito. 
Hello, my name is Andrea and my birthday is on February 25th. Okay, very good. Good job. Let's see, somebody else. Hello, my Hello. name is Beatriz and my birthday is on September. Number 29. Okay, very good. Good job. Somebody else is student? Don't be afraid. Go ahead. Okay, very good. Okay, student. Uh huh. Okay, okay. Um, let's continue with today's class. Continuamos por la clase, chicos. Así que this is the warm up activity. Uh, we got the topic for today: future with becoming who. We're gonna talk about future. Right? Okay, let's see. We got all the time less on objectives. Somebody who wants to help me to read it. Okay, can we get it a little chicos? Raise your hand. Oh, teacher. Okay, no. Teacher? Yes. Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask uh, and answer yes and no question using the going to. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about building plan. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in the real life setting. Okay, very good. Really nice work. Me gusta. Muy bien. Eso me gusta. Eh, Recuerdense que entre más ustedes pues, se atrevan y practiquen, más van a muy buen trabajo. Really good job, student. Eh, at the end of this class, vamos a ser capaces de learn how to ask and answer yes, no question. Vamos a aprender cómo, qué es ask. Ask. Preguntar. Very good. And answer. What is answer? Answer. Responder. Responder. If you know it, this is answer, no answer. Answer, la W no se pronuncia. Answer. 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 Ok, muy bien. Vamos a ser capaces de preguntar. Preguntas de sí o no. Muy bien, utilizando el be going to. ¿Alguien sabe qué es be going to? Es como un auxiliar que se utiliza como para decir algo que se va a hacer a futuro, okay. pero eh, algo que está seguro que se va a hacer. Ok, very nice. Good job. Eh, de hecho, eso es. Eh, tenemos eh, two ways of saying something that's going to happen in the future. Will y going to. Will to. Ok, ya vamos a hablar eso cómo se eh, usa. Muy bien. Continue. Yes. At yesterday class, we were talking about useful sentences. What does it mean useful? I have a question. Yes, please tell me. Go ahead. Teacher, I don't understand. Okay, that's good. Eh, vamos a aclarar esto. ¿Quién tenía una pregunta? ¿Milfredo? En el, el going to no escuché. Uh, dijeron que era para formular una pregunta futuro. Yes. De algo que va a pasar en el futuro. Pero eh, después mencionó algo más la, 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 la compañera y no escuché qué era. Lo otro. Ok. Ok. Eh, basically, uh, she said that uh, going to is when something is that you are really sure that's going to happen. Que tú estás seguro. ¿Qué pasó? 
que va a suceder, ¿sí? Ok. Eh, pero vamos a explicar eso a fondo. Don't worry. Okay. ok. We got useful sentences. ¿Qué se recuerda que significaba useful? Useful. We were talking about this one. Eran oraciones útiles. Útiles, muy bien. Useful es algo útiles. Eh, yesterday class we were talking about these three sentences. Really useful during this class. De estas tres eh, expresiones muy útiles en la clase. Eh, I am your English teacher, but today you're going to teach me. Pero ahora ustedes me van a enseñar. Yo se la digo en español y ustedes en inglés. Ok, eh, que tenga la respuesta. Yo tengo una pregunta, como lo diría. I have okay, very good. Sí, yo no entiendo. Teacher. Okay, very I don't good. understand. Very nice. Teacher, todo está claro. Everything is clear. It's clear. <laughs> okay, very good. Eh, básicamente es eso. Okay, students. Eh, estas useful sentences eh, I bring it to you in order to siempre se las voy a traer con el fin de que ustedes pues aprendan un poco más rápido cómo expresarse durante la clase, ¿sí? Ok, very good. I have a question. Teacher, I don't understand. Everything is clear. Very good. Continue with this. I'm going to start with the word B. Vamos a comenzar con el verbo to be. Aunque okay, ese famoso verbo to be, ¿se recuerdan cuál es? Cero estar. Cero estar. En English, ¿cuál sería? Son tres. Be, um, uh, was. Be, was. Es, um, are, and is. Ok, very good. Uh, if you notice the verb be, este de acá, es, uh, is, y are, son tres, que es cero estar. Estos tres significan lo mismo. Yo soy, yo estoy, tú eres, tú estás, él es, o él está. You got it. ¿Se comprende? Yes. Okay. Why we are going to start with the verb be? ¿Por qué vamos a empezar con el verbo to be? Ustedes ven, decimos be going to. Be going to. Tenemos que poner un verbo to be antes de utilizar going to. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo así? Veamos. <clears throat> eh, you know, uh, do you know the personal pronouns? ¿Se saben ya los pronombres personales? Yes or not? Yes. yes. Very good. Eh, yo les creo, pero vamos a comprobarlo. Así que <risa> yo voy a estar diciendo en inglés. You have to answer in Spanish. I. Yo. 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 You. Tú. Tú. He. Él. Él. He. Ella. 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 Hey. Ellos. 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 Nosotros. 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 Eso. Ok. It es neutral, right? Es eso de cosa o de animalito. Muy bien, really good. Si ustedes no tenemos the verb be, con cada uno de ellos es uno diferente. Por ejemplo, con I vamos a utilizar am. ¿Sí? Ok, with you, you are going to use are. He, he, and he. Estos tres vamos a utilizar. Is. Is, very good. Por estos tres, tienen que mantenerlo en mente. A este se le llama third person. Tercera persona. Me imagino que ya lo vieron. Ok, very good. Solo lo estamos repasando. Ok, y la forma negativa, no lo digamos not. Not. Not, 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 en todas. Muy bien. Eh, 
if we want to make an interrogative statement, si queremos crear una eh, oración interrogativa, solo, ¿qué hacemos? What we are going to do? Poner el verbo to be at verbo al inicio. We put the verb be at the beginning. We change the position, right? Ponemos el verbo to be al principio. Ustedes notan acá. Muy bien. Eh, hasta acá alguien tiene una pregunta. Do you have any questions so far? No. no. Teacher, una, un favor. Yes, please tell. Teacher. Yes. Tell. Hay mucha interferencia y no 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 desactivan todos el micrófono y hay mucha interferencia. No se escucha bien. Yes. Okay, students. Eh, let me see. Okay. Veamos. Okay, let me check something here. Here we go. Okay, students, now uh, you can hear me only me, right? But, ahora pueden escucharme solo a mí, pero necesito que eh, apaguen su micrófono solo cuando van a hablar, lo encienden, no hay ningún problema si me interrumpe. Es su clase, es nuestra clase, así que no problem, right? Eh, Si yo los silencio acá todos, cuando pongo la diapo en grande para que ustedes puedan apreciarla bien, eh, siempre se activan los micrófonos. Así que asegúrense de apagarlos y cuando queramos opinar o mm, expresar una doubt, you can activate it, right? Ok, are you agree? Ok. Yes. Nice. Ok. Ok, continue with this one. Ok. Okay, entonces, uh, we are the verb be, we got the verb be, is, am, um, is, er. El verbo to be es, am, um, is, er. Cada uno con su eh, personal pronoun that we are going to use. Cada uno con el pronombre personal que vamos a utilizar. ¿Por qué lo explico en Spanish? Porque aquí hay un gran, gran, gran detalle que tenemos que comprender. We can use the verb be as these three ways. Podemos utilizar este verbo to be de estas tres formas, con cada pronombre personal. Pero también se puede utilizar el be. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo así? Por ejemplo, be es ser o estar. Si ustedes dicen, yo quiero ser eh, un doctor, ¿cómo dirían eso en inglés? I will be... A doctor. I will be a doctor. Muy bien. Está muy bien formulada la, la oración. Ese es en futuro. Be. Si ustedes no utilizamos a, are, o is, sino que be. Actual. Pero ¿por qué? No. Okay, students. Eh, basically, we're going to use be when we have a verb. Cuando tenemos un verbo acá, and después del pronombre personal, vamos a utilizar be. Si no tenemos verbo, vamos a utilizar estas tres formas. ¿sí? Por ejemplo, I am a teacher. Yo soy un profesor. Si yo quiero decir, yo, yo quiero ser un profesor, I want to be a teacher. Así de sencillo. Okay, do you understand what I've been saying? ¿Me comprenden lo que intento decir? Repita yes. el ejemplo, por favor, teacher. Okay, veamos. Eh, tenemos am, is, y are. Estos tres significa ser o estar. ¿Sí? Entonces, pero be, También lo podemos utilizar ser o estar. Pero ¿cuál es la diferencia? Cuando nosotros tenemos los pronombres personales, después del pronombre personal vamos a utilizar am, is y are si no sigue ningún otro verbo que nosotros queramos expresar. Por ejemplo, yo soy. El verbo to be significa ser o estar. El único verbo es este. Pero si tenemos otro verbo que no sea estos tres, tenemos que utilizar este. Por ejemplo, 
Quiero, ¿cómo se dice quiero? En inglés. I want. I want. Entonces usted, quiere, usted dice, yo quiero ser. No podemos decir, I want am. No se puede, sería, I want. I want, I want to be. Very good. Y dice lo que usted quiere ser. Por ejemplo, yo quiero ser un doctor, un ejemplo. I want to be a doctor. Aunque en este momento, ahorita no. <laughs> ok. Ok, that's good. Veamos. Eh, ¿Me entienden? Eh, me yes, yes, thank you. Ok. You're welcome. Let's continue, students. Ok, let's see. We are going to continue because of the time. Tenemos be going to. Ok, this is simple. Right? Esto es muy simple, muy simple. <coughs> We got two ways of say, of saying uh, the future. Will and be going to. Will. Ya manejan will. Yes. 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 Will basically uh, only modify the verb. Will solo modifica el verbo. Por ejemplo, díganme un verbo. Cualquiera. Swim. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Run. Run. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, I will run tomorrow. What does it mean in Spanish? Yo correré. Yo correré mañana. Mañana, very good, run. Yo correré mañana. Si ustedes notan, will solo modifica el verbo a futuro. Pero, but, be going to... Yo no correré mañana. Eh, yes, pero be going to significa voy a. Voy a. Be going to. Por ejemplo, run. Run es correr, dijimos. Ok. I am... Going to run tomorrow. ¿Cómo se traduciría eso? Yo voy a correr mañana. Ok, very good. You see the difference between both? ¿Notan la diferencia entre ambos? Yes. Ok. Eh, veamos acá. Se decía que Will era menos certero que Be Going To. ¿Por qué? Yo puedo decir, correré mañana, pero no es lo mismo que yo diga, yo voy a correr mañana. ¿Cuál se escucha más eh, seguro de qué va a pasar? Going to. Going to, very good. Going to es más certero. Ok, with this in mind, uh, we're going to pass this. Siempre que vamos a utilizar going to, tenemos que poner the verb be, el verbo. Dependiendo cada caso. Por ejemplo, tenemos work. What does it mean work? Trabajo. Trabajar. Trabajar. Entonces aquí, si yo diría yo voy a trabajar, ¿cómo lo traduciría? I'm going to Perdón, work. no le escuché. Ok, si diría yo voy a trabajar, ¿cómo lo diría? I'm going to work. I'm going to work. Ok, very good. Si ustedes notan, tienen que decir am. Um, I am going to work. ¿Por qué am? Porque estos tres son el verb be. Estos tres significan el verbo? To be. To be, very good. Entonces, en cada caso se va a ir utilizando dependiendo de los pronombres personales. For example, She is going to work. Ella. Trabajará mañana. Trabaja mañana. Ok, ok. Again, again. Ella va a trabajar mañana. Very good. Ella va a trabajar mañana. Si yo diría, will work tomorrow, si, dir si diríamos, ella trabajará mañana. Muy bien. 
Okay, the last example here we have the you are going to work. Tú irás al trabajo Tú mañana. Okay, going to. Tú trabajarás mañana. Mm, that's will. You will go. You will work. Tú irás a trabajar. Ah, uh, less. Tú vas a trabajar mañana. Tú vas a trabajar mañana. Okay. <laughs> vas a trabajar mañana. Yeah, that's good. Like, you notice the difference? Notan la diferencia? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, students. This is simple. This is affirmative. Esto es afirmativo. This is the negative way. Uh, we only add not. Solo agregamos not. Si queremos formar la forma negativa, solo agregamos that. Yo no voy a ir a trabajar mañana, que es mentira. Diríamos. I am not, not going to work. Ok, very good. Y así sucesivamente. Ok. If you notice, if we want to create a, the interrogative way, si queremos crear la forma interrogativa, solo. ¿Qué hacemos? Primero el verbo. Oh. The verb. Be. We switch the position of the verb. Be. Cambiamos la posición del verbo. To be. To be. Por ejemplo, eh, esta, these questions uh, casi nunca nos vamos a preguntar a nosotros mismos, así que vamos a usar una de estas. Is she going to work? Where is she go where is she going to work? Very good, nice. Entonces ahí diríamos dónde, a dónde ¿Dónde? a trabajar ella. What, where, when, and why. Podemos utilizar cualquiera de esas WH word que me imagino que ya las vieron. Muy bien. Okay. I think I hope that all of this is clear. Espero que todo esto esté claro. If you have questions, you can ask me right now. No questions? Okay, very good. Vamos a saltarnos acá. Eh, we're going to see the difference. Esto lo vamos a ver rapidito. <coughs> Así que, okay, full attention. We got will versus going to. Will, going to. Eh, ¿Cuál era más certero, dijimos? Going to. Going to. Going to. Very good. Will es una rapid. Difícil. Yeah, right. Es algo rapidísimo que nosotros decimos, ah, haré esto. I will do this. Así, actuamos rápido. Pero going to lo utilizamos cuando ya tenemos un, un plan. A prior plan. Lo hemos planeado algo. ¿Sí? Okay, uh, let's see. We have this. Okay, let me see. Okay, look at this. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. Yes? Estoy? Sediento. Yeah, really good. Estoy sediento. I think I will buy a drink. I will buy a drink. Yo creo que compraré una comida. Ok, entonces es una decisión. Rapid, right? Ok, very good. In this case, eh, como es una decisión rápida, pueda que pase, pueda que no pase. Right? Pero ustedes también pueden decir, I am going to buy... Y estamos asegurando un poco mejor. Me estoy muriendo de la sed. I'm going to buy a drink. Es más, certero, right? Ok, very good. And so on. Y así sucesivamente. Eh, because of time, vamos a pasar rápido. Eh, do you understand the difference between what you are going to? Ok. Okay, students, I hope you understand the 
a difference between will versus going to. Espero que pues se comprenda el will versus going to. Will, cuando hacemos una decisión rápida, tiene menos probabilidad que pase. Going to, cuando va a tener más probabilidad que algo suceda. Voy a repetir nuevamente. Con going to, we are going to use the verb be. Am, um, is, and are. Right? I am going to teach English. Yo voy a enseñar inglés. También podría decir, I will teach English. Enseñaré inglés. Pero es menos probable de que suceda. I can use be going to if I got a prior plan, right? Okay. Okay. Let me see. Continue with today's class. Ahí está. Okay, students. Eh, continue with this. We got a short conversation. Tenemos una pequeña conversación. Eh, let's see. Eh, this conversation, we can find questions using going to. Eh, for example, we got a, this conversation between two people, Angie and Philip, right? Okay, we're gonna practice with Stephanie. Stephanie, you will be Angie, okay. right? And I will be Philip. Okay. Okay. Are you to do everything exit, exit this weekend? Uh, well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kyla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> okay, you see the, the conversation? Eh, ¿Entienden toda la conversación? So, so. Yes. Yes? Okay, very good, the students. Eh, let's see. Eh, okay, students. Uh, we got an activity. Okay, let me see. Okay, I want you to practice these conversations. Necesito que practiquemos esta conversación. Vamos a ver dos parejitas. Así que eh, ustedes me dicen, Wilfredo, si quieres participar. Okay. okay. Okay, somebody else who wants to practice with with Yo puede ser. Okay, yes, go ahead. Eh, yo soy Angie. Yeah. Are, are you going to do anything exiting the, this weekend? Okay. Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday ex exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. Okay. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take my me out for dinner. For dinner. Okay. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Okay, very good job, students. Really good. You did a good. Uh, because of the time, uh, we cannot practice, uh, all of you guys, 
no puedo practicar todos por el tiempo, pero eh, you did it good, veo que sí maneja muy bien esto, así que eh, solo this word, you can say exciting, exciting. Exacto. Ok, por exciting. aquí. This one, exactly. 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 Very exactly. good. Eh, let me see. Teacher, exciting is emocionante. Yeah. Uh -huh. Es más que emocionante. Exciting. Yeah, very good. Exciting es emocionante. Nice. You have question with this uh, conversation? No question. No question. All right. No question. Okay, student, remember that you can practice on the platform eh, during the week. Pueden practicar en la plataforma eh, durante la semana. The platform is for you, right? La plataforma es exclusivamente para ustedes. Eh, you can practice as many times as you can. Pueden practicar tantas veces sea necesario. Eh, para que vayamos mejorando toda esta pronunciation and understanding words y entender muchas palabras. Eh, let's see, if you use uh, your phone, right, you can download the app, the application for iOS or Android. Ahí pueden bajar la aplicación para Android o si tienen iPhone. Muy bien. Ok, students, let's continue with this. Ok, we have practice. Ok, let's practice while we were discussing about the future time using the going to. Ok, eh, vamos a practicar, les parece, cómo utilizar the going to. ¿Sí? Ok, you have to think one case about future by using the going to. Tienen que think. Pensar. Pensar en mi cara. No, un caso acerca del futuro, o sea, un caso futuro usando el be going to. Be going to. Recuérdense que acá en be le van a poner am, is, o are, dependiendo del caso. ¿Sí? Eh, ok, we got, tenemos positive, negative, and interrogative. Tienen que pensar en un caso donde usen positivo, negativo, e interrogativo. Muy bien. Ok, I'm going to start with this. Voy a comenzar para que ustedes vean cómo es. Ok, let's see, let's listen to this. Example, I am going to teach English today. This is a positive, negative, or interrogative? Positive. Positive, very good. This is positive. Ok, the second one. I am not going to teach English today. Negative. Negative. Very good. Look at this. Am I going to teach English today? This is probably. Interrogative. Very good. Interrogative. Okay, in this way you have to build your own sentences. De esta forma van a hacer sus propias oraciones. Una positive, la misma la ponen en negative, And the other one is derogative. Then you have to share what uh, you have there. Luego tienen que compartir lo que ustedes tienen. Okay. Uh, you're going to have one minute to create your sentences. Van a tener un minuto para crear sus oraciones. Así que one minute. Go ahead. Luego vamos a hacer grupos. Group of four or five. Okay, students. Okay, one minute. If you have questions, you can ask me.
Okay, you got it? Ready? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay, uh, let me see. Okay, in this session, I don't have the breakup rooms, but let's do this. We're gonna share together. Vamos a compartirlos todos juntos. Okay, vamos chicos. Who want to start to share your sentences? You have to use three ones. Positive, negative, and interrogative. Go ahead. Who wants to start? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Fabricio. Hi. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Share your sentences. I am not hungry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am not a hungry. Okay. Uh, am I a hungry or are you hungry? <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. Good job, Fabrizio. But you have to point Thanks. to. Going to. Um, uh, Erica? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, let me see. Uh, we got this one. Okay, Fabrizio. Uh, you have to use going to. Uh, for example, you are hungry, right? You are hungry, right? Estamos ahí I'm going to. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, so you are going to. What? You're going. To... You, you, uh, I am going to hungry. Divert, mm -hmm. uh... divert, comer. What was this in English? Eat dinner. Mm -hmm. Comer, comer. Ah. Eat. 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 Very good. Eat. Entonces sería yo voy a comer cuando la clase termine. Entonces diría usted. I am going to, to eat. Very good. Later. Um, in this class. Okay, very good. Nice. Good job. And now you can say a negative way. Interrogative sería I am not I'm going I am not I'm going to hungry. I'm not going to eat, perdón. It's very good, very good. Get it, no problem. <laughs> I'm gonna I am go, not going to eat in this night. Okay, very good. Que es mentira. Vamos with the interrogative way. Okay. Am I going to eat in this night? Okay, very good. Nice. Good job. Very good. Thanks, Fabricio. Good job. Let's see somebody else. Thanks. Okay. Are you magicos? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Um, I am going to travel next year. Okay. I am not. I am not going to travel next year. I I am going to travel next year. Okay, very good. Good job, Lydia. Very okay. good. Okay, somebody else, student. Hey, teacher. Okay, Fabiola. Uh, I am going to sleep late tonight. Okay. I am not going to sleep early tonight. Okay. Am I going to work tomorrow? Okay, very good. Nice, good job. Thanks, Fabiola. Really good job. Mister. Yeah, go ahead, Stephanie. I am going to buy supermarket tomorrow. Okay. I am not going to buy super, supermarket tomorrow. Very good. I'm going to buy supermarket tomorrow. Okay, very good. That sounds like a question. The last one. <laughs> okay, thanks, Stephanie. Somebody else? Yeah. 
I am going to swim tomorrow. Okay. Um, I am not. I am not going to swim tomorrow. And why I am going to swim tomorrow. Okay, very nice. Good job. I like the WH question, right? Me gustó ahí el uso de la WH word. Okay, thanks, Elizabeth. Uh, let's see somebody else. Thanks. Me, teacher. Elizabeth, go ahead. Um, I'm going to practice English today. Okay. Um, um, I'm, I'm not going to practice English today. And the question, am um, I going to practice English today? Okay, very good job, Elsie. Good job, thanks. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome, go ahead. I go to chef today. Okay. I I'm going to chef today. Okay. Are you going to chef today? Okay, very good. Good job, Leticia. Nice. Thank you. Good pronunciation. I like it. Let's see somebody else. Me, teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, I am going to visit my father today yes. i i am not going to visit my father today and answer am i going to visit my father today okay very good sophie good job really good job thank you thank you okay somebody else students And I'm going to run tomorrow. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to run tomorrow. Okay. Am I going to run tomorrow? Very good job. I like it. Really good, Flo. Okay. Somebody else. Is yes. Okay, go ahead, Andrea. Okay, I am going to eat pupusas for dinner. I am not going to eat pupusas for dinner. Um, I am going to eat pupusas for dinner. Okay, very good. Thank you. Really good. Okay, veamos, somebody else. Faltan algunos por ahí. Me. Okay. I am I am going to play soccer this weekend. I am not I am not to play soccer this weekend. Am I going to play soccer this weekend? Okay, very good job, Reina. Thank you. Okay, somebody else. Hey, teacher. Yes, go ahead, Tanya. I am going to go to the supermarket the next week. Okay. I am not going to the supermarket the next week. Yes. Um, I'm and I'm going to go to the supermarket the next week. Okay, very good. Good job. Really nice pronunciation. Thank you, Tanya. Thank okay. you. Somebody else. Oscar. Are you there? Well, hello. No. I, I am I am going to play video games to, today. I am not going to play video games today. Okay. I am I'm I going, going to play video games today. Okay, very good job, Oscar. Nice. Veo que le gustan los video games. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Estamos todos igual. <laughs> Muy bien. Ok, let's see. Uh, who's missing? ¿Alguien falta? Ok, Rebeca. I'm going to play football tomorrow. Ok. I'm, I'm not going to 
play football tomorrow. Okay. Are, are you going to play football tomorrow? Okay, very nice. Good job, Wilfredo. Nice pronunciation. Okay, uh, let's see. Somebody else? Creo que solo uno me hace falta. Yo. Okay. Uh, I'm going to watch a movie with my mom. I'm not going to be a doctor. And what is she going to sing? Okay, very good. Thank you. Good job. Okay, really nice. Veo que sí. Pues hemos aprendido lo que es el going to. Remember all the time we are going to use the verb be. When we use going to, we have to add am, is, or are. Keep in mind, right? Manténgalo en mente, siempre voy a utilizar am, is, y are. No podemos decir, we cannot say, I going to work. Tenemos que utilizar am. I am going to work. She is going to work. You are going to work. Y sucesivamente si es negativo o interrogative. Okay, I hope this is clear. We have this. Okay, we have a video, students. Okay. Okay, we got a video. Let me see. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, we're gonna see a. Uh, Hi, I'm gonna watch a video about the future with using be going to, right? Okay. Okay, let me see. Uh, this video you can find on the platform. Este video lo pueden encontrar en la plataforma eh, virtual que está diseñada especialmente para ustedes, como lo mencionaba anteriormente. Así que pueden ponerlo tantas veces que sea necesario. ¿sí? Okay. Eh, Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn how to ask and answer. Yes or no questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about birthday plans, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled Happy Birthday. Let's listen and practice. Happy birthday. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Now let's analyze the examples from the chart. The future with be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't. But they're going to give me a cake. We use be going to to talk about future events. Let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events. We can follow this formula to express the future with be going to. Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples from the chart. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. These examples are contracted, by the way. In order to illustrate these examples, I will do it without contractions. I is the subject. Next, we have the verb to be, am. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb celebrate. Finally, we add 
my birthday. Let's analyze one more example. She's going to invite all my friends. The subject is she. Next, we have the verb to be is. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb invite. Finally, we add a compliment, all my friends. Let me show you how to form yes or no questions with be going to. To do that, we're going to follow this formula. The verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus the verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Are you going to do anything this weekend? The verb to be is are. Next, we have the subject, you. After that, we need to include the auxiliary, going to. Then we put the verb, do. Finally, we add a compliment, anything this weekend. And we put a question mark at the end. These are yes or no questions. So to answer them, it's quite simple. Just like you see on the examples towards the right hand side of the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Our next example. I'll choose the last question on the chart. Are the waiters going to sing to you? The verb to be is are. The subject is the waiters. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb sing. Finally, we add a compliment to you and a question mark at the end. Now it's your turn to practice making statements and yes or no questions using be going to. Think about your plans for the weekend and write them down. Do as many examples as you can. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone, in this class you'll okay, learn how to ask. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> vimos el video donde se explica más a fondo acerca del tema be going to así que uh, I don't know if you have any questions so far questions no no question everything is clear like uh, everything, everything is clear everything, everything is clear. understand ok already. everything is clear ok nice Okay, remember, I'm going to be here for you, students. Estoy acá para ustedes. You can ask me questions, and I'm going to try to answer them. Voy a intentar respondérselas tan pronto sea necesario. Okay, as the last part, eh, on the platform, you will find five sections. En la plataforma, ustedes encontrarán five sections, cinco secciones. Uh, in which you can uh, try to study for the right in cual ustedes pueden ir estudiando a fondo in each session you will have uh, around 10 or 12 lessons van a tener 10 o 12 eh, básicamente prácticas que ustedes pueden hacer con sus videos uh, in each video you will have a discussion part Van a encontrar una parte para eh, poder agregar su comentario. In which include a title, a the comment or questions. En el cual incluye un título y la pregunta o aporte que ustedes quieran dar. ¿Sí? Remember and keep in mind that that platform is for you. ¿Sí? Keep in mind. Recuérdenlo, manténganlo siempre en su mente. Esa plataforma es para ustedes. Eh, 
visit and practice as many times as you can. Sí, ahí van a encontrar exámenes, eh, van a encontrar videos. Eh, ustedes pueden verlos tantas veces sea necesario, igual los exámenes. Right? Okay, students. Eh, I don't know if you have more questions. No. Everything no. is clear. No. Okay, break it. Oh, for this moment, no. no. Okay, good job. Eh, unfortunately, time is over. Eh, con ustedes se me pasa rápido la hora, así que desafortunadamente se nos acabó el tiempo. Eh, así que, that's it for today class. It's a pleasure to see you and see you tomorrow, right? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Good night. Good night, good night teacher. Good night. Good night, good night everyone. Good night. Okay, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Take care, students. Okay, goodbye.